Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanika Dion. Alrighty, now today actually is a little different for me. I'm gonna do a topic that's maybe considered TMI, but if so, you know, don't watch. I mean, I'm gonna do the video anyway because it's, it's just what I want to talk about. Anyway, so as many of you know, because um, I've talked about it before, not too much, maybe one, once or twice, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, um, if you don't know, uh, I actually suffer from uterine fibroids. I found out um, six years ago, actually right before my son was conceived, um, I had went for my yearly um, pap and was told that I had uterine fibroids, which I had no idea. And I was 40 years old at the time. Um, and I had no idea uh, what fibroids were. I just didn't. I, I don't know. I, I didn't know. So, you know, he told me, the doctor told me all about it, what it is and all that type of stuff. Um, if you don't know what uterine fibroids are, you're going to have to go and Google them. But most women probably know. I just was out of the loop. I don't know. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, he told me all about him and everything and gave me some options. Um, you know, hysterectomy, full hysterectomy, uh, partial hysterectomy, um, waited out just options and me, um, because I wasn't really having any symptoms like the one he was describing, like heavy bleeding, um, menstrual cramps, um, skipping periods, stuff like that. I wasn't having any of that. So to me the best option was because my husband was with me and you know we talked about it a lot um you know not that it was his decision but we did talk about it a lot and um i had decided that my best option was to just go ahead and wait it out because um i felt like i was 40 well not felt like i was 40 i was 40 and i was feeling like you know how much longer Am I going to have a period anyway? That's what I was thinking. I mean, you know, I didn't realize some women that I found out have their periods all the way to like 50, some 53, 54. And I didn't know that. I thought pe women's periods be going like by 45, 46. I, that's honestly what I thought. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I didn't really pay attention to all that. Um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like stuff that women should know about their bodies uh, that they shouldn't know. Like I said, so, you know, I. It, I wasn't sick, not having no problems. I get my checkups every year, so I didn't care about anything else as long as I was fine and healthy. So anyway, yeah, so uh, I decided to uh, wait it out. And every year I kept, you know, going to go get my yearly um, pap smear. And of course they were still there. And I have three uh, i get them checked it doesn't no more have came in the the six years that it's been now and you know three i have two small ones on the the uterine uterus and then um a really big one that has grown um up to the top of the pelvis um so big that it uh makes my stomach protrude like that is like the biggest part like I got big thighs and things too but you know those can be worked off and things like that the more that I do my exercise and lose weight and things like that so that's not really a big big thing because that can uh go away with exercise and diet and things like that thighs you know but the doctor himself did tell me you know if you ever really want to lose the weight in your stomach most likely and this was like just last year um over the years he wasn't really saying that because I wasn't really um, interested in losing weight because it just was not whatever so yeah basically around last year um, when everything started hitting the fan about me and my weight and all that type of stuff which I talked about in another video and I'll link that here but anyway um, so yeah it protrudes and it makes my stomach stick out bigger than what it actually should um, you see me you would think that oh I, I, you know I should not have that. I wouldn't, you know. But anyway, so um, it's just that big. It just makes it protrude. My stomach is huge, and I do wear tend to have to wear bigger stuff around 
here. Um, hence why I get the 3X and sometimes I can get 2X. Sometimes I can even get no 1X. But because of my stomach and I don't like it to show, I tend to get the biggest that I can get, you know. Um, you know, I am embarrassed about it. But I hide it well. I hide it well. So, you know, um, expensive underwear and uh, um, not girdles, but um, spanks and um, things like that. So I hide it well. But anyway, uh he said that if you ever really want to lose weight, you're most likely going to have to go ahead and have uh, the surgery, the hysterectomy, either a full one or partial. Um, but, you know, at my age, like I told him, it would definitely be full because your girl definitely will never have another child. So there's no need for partial. So I wanted, you know, if I was going to do it, I would get it all out and not have to worry about anything, you know, just it just be gone. But anyway so yeah there's that so um but still even now i just don't want to have surgery guys i just do not want to have surgery and the only time i want to have surgery is if it's necessary medically necessary that i'm about to drop dead seriously if it's going to save my life give me uh surgery i mean it's nothing religious or nothing i just don't like the hospital don't like doctors it is what it is i'm grown but oh well it is what it is so I don't really want to have the surgery and I'm still, you know, every time I go, I'll be like, no, I'm still okay. And yeah, even today, I still don't have uh, the super heavy bleeding or the super pain like a lot of people say they experience. I don't have that. I, I really do not have this. Now, I do get um, cramping. I mean, I'm not going to say that I don't. I do get cramping sometimes when I'm not uh, on my cycle. Um, and yeah, they can be... You know a little much but still it's not to me it's not to the point where i need to go you know call the doctor and say oh my god i need to have the surgery get it out now but here recently um you know in the last few months i've been thinking i should just go ahead and have this surgery because i do want the stomach to go down because you know i'm working out i'm doing good eating right um just feeling good uh and then when i start to lose weight you know i'm gonna look crazy and like the doctor said well he didn't say i'm gonna look crazy but he was like you know you're losing weight and everything's gonna go good and then you're still gonna have this stomach just sticking out making you look like you're pregnant when you're not because that's exactly what it's gonna look like and he said he's seen it many times before and i did research and i saw pictures and i did see women that say that and look like that you know they lost weight they're smaller and because you know they didn't have surgery or didn't want to have surgery they have a big stomach and it makes them look like they're pregnant at um excuse me at uh ages that you know a woman should not be having a baby you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> well i won't say should not because women can have babies whenever they want so you know um but yeah for me i was thinking that maybe i should because yeah it does stick out a bit and you know he told me that once i get rid of it half my stomach would be gone right there and i was like oh sounds you know, but still in the back of my mind, I don't want to do surgery. So just to get down to it, what I have been doing for the last like five months is researching vaginal steaming because I started looking up some stuff um, because I saw a post on Instagram probably about five to six months ago. No, probably a little before that, but I just really started getting into it or, or researching it about five months ago. Like I've seen a lot of celebrities talk about it. Um, I read a lot of stuff, um, just research, 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 just, you know, learning all I can about, <clears throat> gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, learn all I can about uh, vaginal uh, steaming and things so <clears throat> excuse me and sorry and um, you know right about uh, beginning of the month I was like okay I'm going to not about the beginning of the month probably like a couple weeks ago I decided I'm going to go ahead and try it I'm going to go ahead and try this natural way to try to shrink these fibroids or shrink this fibroid as well as the others um if not totally go away because I've read stories from women that said you know vaginal steam is where their fibroids you know completely went away doing the vaginal steaming um, and some that say you know they shrunk them and you know 
but they still don't have like the pain and the heavy bleeding and things like that. Like I read a lot of story, positive stories, like a lot, cause I've been doing this, you know, research for months. Um, <clears throat> and then, but I've also read, you know, a lot of studies and people that are saying that it doesn't work. Uh, and you know, some doctors say that there, you know, hasn't really been any medical proof that, uh, vaginal steaming is what's causing some of these women's, um, fibers to shrink or go away, um, you know, to each his own. But upon, you know, all the positive, I decided to go with the positive to, cause to me, the positive, um, outweighed the negative. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and try this natural way. And if this natural way does not work, then I will go ahead and give serious, serious thought to go ahead and have this, uh, hysterectomy by the end of the year is what my goal is if it does not work you know what i'm saying um so you know but a lot of the studies that i read and as well as the company that i chose because there's a lot of companies out there that do the natural herbs and things like that for um getting rid of a lot of the uterine issues that women have the one that i chose i did a lot of research on her too and i watched her videos on youtube um, you know, I'm gonna link all her information as well as the channel down below so you can take a look if you're interested in any uterine care. It's just, it's not just for, you know, any ailments or issues that you may have. It, it you just, you know, you can do the steaming just for overall uterine care, um, health and wellness, you know what I'm saying? But my issue right now is I'm basically going to try to try to shrink, uh, the fibroids naturally. So um basically let me just um <clears throat> read to you a little bit um about the benefits of vaginal steaming first of all um, i'm just looking at one of the uh, articles that i saved that i uh not articles but some of the benefits um of vaginal steaming or yanni uh the other day on uh, instagram i posted in my story one of <laughs> one of the um People also that made me laugh because she uses a uh, Yanni oil to help with a uh, lubricant or uh, uh, as a sexual lubricant or to make her uh, Yanni smell good. Yanni, another word for your uh, vagina. So anyway, um, benefits of the Yanni steam. Um, Yanni steam significantly reduce menstrual pain, bloating, and exhaustion, improve and increase fertility, treat uterine fibroids, ovarian cysts, uterine weakness, uterine prolapse, endometrius, um, hemorrhoids, speed healing, and tone the re reproductive system after birth, assist with repair of vaginal tear, um, C-section scars, treat chronic vaginal or yeast infections, uh, relieve symptoms of menopause, including dryness. And, you know, as you're getting up there, you know that can happen. I'm not saying it's happened to me yet, but I'm saying that can because I've seen a lot of studies about some of the women saying uh, when you're getting that menopausal uh, time, that thing starts to suck up, you know. Um, but anyway... <laughs> Uh, pain during it helps with pain during intercourse, rid the womb and body of toxins and stress. So basically, you know, it can help get rid of a lot of ailments that uh, women go through, as well as get rid of some of them exes that you girls done had, and you know, men done left some stuff up in there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. You know, whatever. Everybody likes to have fun, but you're doing this to clean that thing out because that's basically what the steams are doing is cleaning it up now okay so next uh now the company let me just get into the company that i chose she has a uh, instagram website and all that stuff like i said i'll put it down below but the company that i chose is all is well herbs and it's all is well herbs.com now um i'm going to show you what i purchased um in a few minutes to let you know how i'm gonna get all this started now um, also, along with the Yanni uh, Vaginal Steams, this company also offers um, Yanni Pearls. Now, um, on her website, as far as the Yanni Steam, I'll get into the pearls in a minute. As far as Yanni Steam, her website says we assist with basically the same thing as the definition of what the vaginal steaming um, does. Um, it assists with menstrual cramps, vaginal tightness, um, it assists with hemorrhoids, heavy menstruation, 
menstruation, what is it? Menstruation balances hormones, strengthens uterus, assists with menopausal symptoms, recovery after childbirth, feminine odor, regulates menstruation. Why do I can't say that word? Um, fluid retention, fertility, remove waste with, uh, which contributes to cysts, fibroids, cancers, and tumors. Um, they're not saying that they cure those. Um, it can help with some of the issues you may have with those. Um, it destroys fungus, bacteria, viruses, parasites, repairs damaged tissues, and assists with infection, bacteria, and discharge. And you know all women suffer from things like that. Um, and then as far as the Yanni Pearls, which I also um, am deciding to go ahead and try. Um, let me see. The Pearls are designed to enhance your body's own healing abil abilities and restore natural balance. Okay. Now, although the pearls should promote discharge of uterine ailments, please be patient and use the pearls as needed per our instructions. As sometimes you would need more than one detox uh, for desired results. Okay, now, um, it says, recommendation is to do three to six uh, Yanni pearls a month until desired results or three pearls and four to eight steams because they work in uh, conjunction with each other. Now, for me, uh, for what I am basically uh, doing this for, the help with the fibroids, it says it, um, for most people it takes 24 treatments. So, that would be 24 steams or 24 Yanni pearls. Or you can use them um, in conjunction of each other and use 12 steams and 12 pearls. So um, as far as the steam, you know, the steam basically means, you know, you take the natural herbs, you steam it, let it steep for five minutes, pour it in um, the seat, which I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, pour it in there and you let it sit for a few minutes. And then, you know, you sit it on the toilet or whatever, because you have to sit for like 15 to 20 minutes. You do that twice a week. And on the other days, what you do, um, you can do the, the pearls, okay? Now, the per what the pearls do is it's sort of like a, well, you sort of insert it like a tampon. Um, it's a little pearl. You put it in a little applicator. You stick it up in your vagina like a tampon and let the string hang. And um, you keep that in for three days and then you remove it. And what's going to happen after you remove the pearl, after... Um, like 24 to 48 hours, you're going to start to see a lot of purging. And purging basically just means that a lot of the waste from your body is going to start um, coming out. So I would suggest, you know, if you're going to try this, wear like a panty liner, a, a pad or whatever, but probably a panty liner should do it. Um, but yeah, a lot of the waste is going to come out. Like uh, old blood comes out. Because I'm telling you, if you look at her website, there has, she has like really graphic pictures. But is necessary to see uh, it really is and it is real life real life so um they're really graphic and again i will put all her information below um as well as the website on the screen probably so but yeah it removes old blood um uh, dead skin so that it can uh so that your body can uh create the new skin which is where the uh, tightness and wetness comes in for the next time you want to try because you know every woman wants her vagina to be nice and wet for her man because that's what he likes you know what i'm saying it is what it is like i said this is grown people talk today and no need to sugar coat it you know what i'm saying so um, yeah, so once the new skin starts to grow back in the vaginal walls, it will be tighter and wetter. And according to the website and other research that I've, uh, done, uh, women's husbands are in love all over again. <laughs> so, yeah, but, um, oh, and also, uh, there's oil too that this company, uh, has like the little Instagram video I posted it's an oil and it also helps with uh, the smell and it helps with some of the other ailments um, like the yeah the smell it helps with uh, dryness um, and just other things you just got to read the website and stuff like that so anyway when I went on the site I bought the whole combo pack and the combo pack was $120 um, I did use a discount code because there's a lot of celebrity um, uh, people that have codes that you know for this site so I just use Erica Mena's um, 
uh, code for 20% off. And yeah, now let me just show you. Now it came in a big um, bag and stuff like that. It came protected and everything. But anyway, this is what, whoa, I got. This is just, you know, a uh, 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 huge Ziploc basically, it, you know, and I'll just show you what's in here. And I keep it in here and it still has the plastic on here. Now, let me just take this out and I will go ahead and take this out too because before I use it for the first time, I'm going to wash it anyway. Oh, get off. All right. So basically this is the Yanni seat right here. Okay. It looks, it looks sort of like a bedpan, right? So yeah, this is the seat and you take this and this is what you pour the steam inside here and sit it on the toilet and like I said um, once you put the steam in here you sit on toilet you sit on there for 15 to 20 minutes twice a week and you got to make sure you really cover yourself up because you want to keep that steam in just like you know when you're cooking you want to keep the steam and you keep the pot uh, the top on it so that steam can stay in there and cook the food you know what I'm saying so and this is going to be cooking your vagina well you not really but you know what I'm saying um so you want it to be covered up you know so anyway yeah this is what I have and then this right here is the little um what you want to call it thing so that you can help squeeze that steam um air up into your hoo-ha your vagina and this is the little piece and so what you do is you attach the hose to this is it showing it's just a little stopper thing or a little piece that goes here but anywho so um that goes right here all righty so you put that there like that and then you stick it through here I'm gonna be washing all this before I use it anyway you know so you stick it through this hole right here and it's hard doing this on my makeup table gonna knock over my stuff I was gonna do it on my bed but I was already sitting here so yeah and then right here all right so so this okay oh i must don't have it in here tight enough right now but this uh, i'm in the way right now but anyway basically that's how it goes okay you just stick it I want my camera to be picking it up. You know what I'm saying? Can you see? Okay, yeah. There it is. So you just stick this in between. Well, right here. Come on. This is knocking over my stuff, y'all. Like that. Is this? Okay. Well, anyway, when you put it in there, that's what it does. And then you just use this to squeeze it. You hear that noise? Yeah. But anyway, so let me take that out. Because, let me show you again. Because a lot of it is, see, you just got to fit the holes in. Like the holes go through here, down through here. But apparently it's not going to cooperate with me right now. But basically, you'll see. Anyway, so that goes there like that. And you squeeze it. Now, um, let me just show you the steam. I'm going to put this back over here because it's taking up too much space. So basically, this is the steam. Now, the, the combo kit that I bought, like I said, it was $120. And it comes with four steams. Um... Four steams, I think three pearls, and the oil. And all of the products are 100% completely natural. You want to see a list of um, the ingredients, you have to look that up. She has a website. Again, all that will be listed. But anyway, um, the steam, the pearls, and the oil. So, um, the steam looks like this. This may be a long video, guys, but... I don't think I'm going to be editing anyway. 
Oh, it smells good. Kind of smell like tea, and it also smells like weed. But what I don't smoke weed, but you know, I'm a black person. I've been around a lot of people who smoke weed. But anyway, um, sorry, black had nothing to do with that. But anyway, this is what the one steam looks like. So, like I said, it came with four in the combo, and this is one steam. So you take this and you um, pour the hot water over it. <coughs> pour the hot water over it, like in a pot or whatever. And after it steeps for five minutes, that's when you pour it into the seat. And then you sit the seat on the toilet. Or it doesn't have to be on a toilet. If you have somewhere else that you can put it, um, I don't know. I don't know if you can really do it on the floor or if you have a chair with a hole in it or whatever. Um, just as long as you can sit in it and you can cover it up so the steam stays in. And um, what the website says and what she shows in one of her YouTube videos is when you sit on it and the steam is coming, you got to spread those booty cheeks so it can go all up in there. You got to spread them open, honey. You got to spread to get this steam up in there. So. Um, yeah, so that's the steam. Now, the pearls, I don't know if I can open because I don't think, I'm going to go ahead and try to open up the pearl. Oh, yeah, they're an individual pack, so that's good. So, they are an individual pack, so I can't really show you what the pearls look like. But, the applicator that you put it in, like you take one pearl, you stick it in the applicator and then stick it up um, your vagina. Now, like I said, I can't show it to you because I'm not ready to use this yet. Um, but, um, oh yeah, the applicators, they do not come with the applicators. The applicators are $3 a piece. Um, I had to get three because it came with three. So I figured, figured I would go ahead and buy three. Now these were $3 a piece. Yeah. No, $5. I'm sorry. $5 for applicators. Can you believe that? I should check to see if one of my tampon freaking thing wash that thing out real good and use it but I know that sounds disgusting but shoot five dollars a piece for these wow but anyway um you do need it in order to stick it up your vagina but because they're uh, apparently they're really small you can't really use your finger to stick it up in there um you know like sometimes you have to do if that um tampon slides out you got to use your finger to get it back up in there apparently you can't do that with this it's too tiny plus i got nails it, it might it ain't gonna work no way so anyway i bought the applicators i mean it is what it is it's expensive for the applicators but whatever so anyway you get the three and then you have the oil which um you know some people may need like i said you can use the oil to help slip this in um and then i saw a lot of people say that they use the oil just to uh just to be using it because it helps your vagina smell good or even better um so it's like a perfume for your vagina and like i said it's used as a sexual sexual lubricant if you need that um and it is all natural so you can use it's safe to use every day it says it's all natural and you can t i'm trying to open it for you guys to show you what it looks like and this oh and also i forgot to tell you it comes in like three different um uh sizes and um um what do you want to call it not scents but three different like uh sensitive that's what i'm trying to say uh like it comes in sensitive regular and super that's what i'm trying to say sizes i guess that's what i'm trying to say like this pink right here i got the pink and this is regular they have a yellow one that is sensitive and the purple is super and basically which um i got the pink which is you know all natural and it is regular because it has lavender in it and, you know, not every woman can, you know, put a whole bunch of stuff up in her and be okay, you know. But I usually don't have any issues with anything that I try. So I feel, felt like, you know, regular might be okay that I didn't need to do sensitive. Look, that's pretty too. Um, so, yeah, I got the regular. But uh, these Yanni steams are sensitive though. Because, you know, something you may not be too sure. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway sensitive these and this is regular and yeah so uh oh and this is yeah regular and sensitive and these are um uh regular as well these uh pearls because they got the sensitive in these two so um yeah let me go ahead and smell this oil oh dang that oh okay 
Too bad the hubby got to go to work tonight. This stuff smells good. But, um, oh, that smells so good. Let me just go ahead. Oh, okay. Excuse my nail. It is broken. I will be getting them done tomorrow. Who is calling? Okay. Smells, um, yeah. Smells, um, sexual ish. Yeah. Don't smell as good as I thought. I mean, it doesn't stink. But I was thinking it smelled more like perfume. It doesn't. It actually does smell like an all-natural blend. It smells It smells good. I mean, I like it. But at first, I was thinking it smelled like perfume. That's why I was like, that's a little, you know, strong for all-natural. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's nice. I really, really like it. And this is really pretty. So, can't wait to try that. But what I'm mainly most excited to try is these pearls. I'm more excited about the pearls than these. Um, you know, because... I heard by reading, well not heard, I read a lot of the stories about these. And I'm telling y'all, if you really want them to look at the All Is Well, what is it? Um, can it oh, AllIsWellHerbs.com website with the owner Ken, uh, Kendra who created all this. Um, yeah, those pictures on her website, woo, they show the purge of all that stuff that women are, are um, you know, having so much success stories. They're saying after I steamed or after I used the Yanni Pearls, um, I just got pregnant like um, a month after that because I was clean. You know, I heard so many good things. Like, it really helps, you know, for women that are having trouble getting pregnant. I mean, just try it. Uh, just try it. I mean, this video isn't sponsored or anything. I'm just so excited to be going ahead and trying this stuff, y'all. Okay, so, but yeah, I'm just excited to try these pearls because I just have to see all the stuff that, you know, is going to be released. I really am. I really am going to be excited to see. And I really am hoping that, you know, a combination of all this stuff, like I said, goes ahead and shrinks these fibroids so I can, you know, get my, um stomach back you know what I'm saying so anyway but yeah guys that is all that I have to talk about today I heard mm, excuse me I hope you learned something and then I hope this wasn't TMI but I just wanted to talk about it because I was excited to get it and I'm excited to try it even more so yeah so thank you so much for sticking around i hope you watched it to the end and again all the information will be linked to below and also you don't have to get the combo you can try the steams at first and or try the pearls or try the oil or just do whatever you want but you know like i said you don't have to do it for any ailment just do it for you for your overwell uterine care you know what i'm saying especially um you know the girls that um you know have a lot of fun you know what i'm saying with a with different people you really want to go ahead and try this and let that stuff let the men out you know what i'm saying let the men out of there you know what i'm saying so if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button like and comment